Hello everyone, welcome to my video. Today in this video we are going to model this jewelry box. This is a very nice surface thing example. Let's start. Firstly we do open a new part here. And then in form plane I'm going to create a sketch. As always I do, firstly I'm creating a construction geometry here and placing my dimensions first the 30 and then 15 after this point we can place a spline and then I will place the spline according to my wish we are going to give some relations uh, you can place here lines and say to your spline you tangent to this line or you can say by clicking your control button on your keyboard and clicking this uh, spine control angular control point and then picking here a line and for example parallel or with this vertical these are possible here tangency value is 30 here 60 after this operation we can go make a revolve surface revolve and first operation is done i'm going to close my real view and you look normal too if you don't know how to open or activate your real view please do check my channel there is a video for activating real view and then on top plane we do create a sketch it's a basic spline in fact ah, sorry first one another thing it's 12 millimeter we have a circle and then we come here we say split and we break our surface as you see and now again a plane on top plane a sketch on top plane and we just create here a spline again yes now seems we need some lines Here we create a tangency. While control press, we pick two objects. Say tangent. Height from here to here. Sorry, from here to here will be 17 and a half. Here tangency value is 30. Here is 50. And then later on. We go circular pattern, 30 degree, 2, and we change our direction. We close our sketch now, and then we go select this one and split line. We break our surface. Now, after this point, we are going to create our loft, first loft operation for that on top plane. I do open a sketch and here I create an arc and this arc will be 25. First over there and then secondly, for second uh, section, we need to create a plane. I click first top plane and then I go to plane and I select this two point normal to this top plane between those this two point program going to create for me a plane and I will place there an arc. It's an arc and this is just 
play these two. Now we can go create our first loft operation. Surfaces, loft. This is object one. This is object second. And then guide curves. This is guide curve one. And this is guide curve seven, A2. Where it came from, to my mind, seven, I don't know. Yes, what do we have here? A nice shaped loft. And then I'm going to create a connection uh, surface here. We can now remove this to surface, in fact, and continue with this one. We are going to look from top again. The top plane, I do look, and I create here one spline. Just change my positions to say you tangent here, you also tangent here. Tangency values are not that much important, but if you would like to know, five, 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 we can make them that much big issue. And then later on, we go create another split line. Now in this formed surface, we have an edge where we can use for a loft operation. And edge two, we can create in edge one, a surface tangency, because we want the continuity here. But just this is an object, we don't need that and we can delete this area. After this operation, we can knit this two surface and we look again normal to step by step we are approaching our final model. And I do create on top plane a sketch and I'm going to check my Separate lines here. Yes. I need one on the middle of this part. And then I can say on 15 degree to because I'm going to create 12 time and one is 30 degree. And then the middle of this one will be just 15 degree and now I'm saying to my program create for me a surface extrude after this operation is completed we go sketches in fact first surfaces and trim this one and this one. Uh, this selection will be removed. We will have only this area. Now we go open a 3D sketch. And I can hide the surface. And I only need this one. I do. I get a surface, a, a 3D curve from an existing surface. Then I can hide it and show my curve. In the middle of this two section, I create a 3D uh, curve for myself because we are going to divide this curve into some pieces and then create there some dots where you saw in the beginning of this video on the model. And after this operation, sketch tools, segment. We are going to divide this uh, curve into five segments. And as you see, we have in some points where 
every point to be the distance in the curve is the same. Once this is done, we are going to create a reference geometry, surface and point. Normal to that point now on this uh, 3D spline, we are going to create a point and a plane where I can uh, perform my operations. Point and surface. And point and surface. Again, point and surface. I open here five plane. Everything goes good. Then plane for uh, first plane, plane two. I'm going to create there a four millimeter diameter sketch circle. And then split line. Okay, plane two can hide now. Plane three, we open a sketch. And I will create there another circle. I do select two point and say coincident while wow, control is pressed. And here I have three. And plane three can be hidden. And now I'm going to make another split. Yes. Plane four now active. I will be placing there a circle again. Diameter will be two and a half. Then again, uh, split. And five. We are going to create there a two millimeter. And again, split. You can hide. And the last one. And we create there another circle. One and a half. Yes. This is good. We break our surfaces. And now we do make the late face. Great. And now we are going to make a rolled surface. Uh, normal to surface. Sorry, again. Rolled surface. Normal to surface and edge selection to enough. If you click enter, you're going to have again same comment. Yes. Yes, guys. This is nice. And now I'm going to divide these objects into two pieces with the help of this surface. Split line intersection, this one, this one cutter, and these guys will be cut. And this can be hidden now. The idea behind of this operation, I'm going to use here a loft to be able to use loft you need two segments on your body or on your part that's the reason and now i do create your tangency tangency i will make this operation for each object quickly yes 
again same operation tangency tangency it is important where you select your object same direction same side and the last operation oh the other object is selected yes tangents to face tangent to face if you change tangency your dome here will be changing yes these objects we are not going to use we can delete them now and we have here our real surface important surface and other objects now we make knitting that's good now i will make fillet with this one I can maybe make it a little bit smaller. Yes, this is good. We do click origin now and go axis. Point is origin selected, and then we are going to select our top plane. And normal to that point, we are going to create an axis where I will perform my circular pattern operation. This is a surface body, and that means we are going to divide use a bodies option here 12 time we made a circle pattern that's good and now we are going to make some trim operation trim surface everything will be selected keep selections it will take them some time to Get everything in my on my pro uh, computer. Yes. Keep selections. This one. Mm, this is not selected. Sorry. I select everything. And I'm going to select this one, this one, this one. Seems we don't need to select all of them, but we will see. Yes, this was what we are looking for, for. It is good. And now we are going to make knit surface. That's great. And open loop, right click on the edge, open loop, and we select everything. And we do create here a planner surface on the bottom. And again, we are going to make a knit surface. I do make two time knit surface because if it's not knitted, you should select every object one, then open loop sometimes not working. Sometimes working, I'm really not sure about it. And then I can create some uh, fillet here. 0 0.75 also again on this object. I say, okay. We are waiting to program to uh, respond and then one more time here that's great now we can make a mirror mirror operation this is the body will be mirror this body no merge result we say okay and now we are going to cut inside, which is a simple operation. On the front plane, I believe my section, yes, we are going to use this section. On the front plane, I open a sketch, I convert my main curve, and I will say an offset, three millimeter, and offset, 
4 millimeter and then later on I'm going to create here an axis where we can I make a mirror and second one interior one four millimeter one will be mirrored the other side Yes, there is some problem. We can diagnose and repair our sketch. It takes a little bit time. Sorry for that. Except, okay, will be underdefined. But what to do? I will close this object I do close this one also and now I do hide the second one in fact the second one for one was to be able to make a mirror here I do create my section and I can make now a revolve cut I believe oh what we forget, we don't have a solid. We are going to say create solid. That's why revolve cut wasn't active. Yes, I'm going to select again this object. This body will be mirrored. Sorry for inconvenience. Yes, we do have it now. And we are going to select Revolve Cut. This will be a section, all bodies. And now when you go check your section, you will have something like this. And the last operation, guys, will be creating our edge for cap. And for that, we need this sketch. This is good. Then we are going to create here a line and this will be one and a half millimeter seems undefined you can say here tangency it will be fine and now two little radius on it Yes, and here closed. Also, we need one axis. I think we had an axis, but I don't use axis outside of Sketch. Mostly I do create one more to make sure that you're understanding what I'm doing. I'm going to hide some objects. We create this shape here, and they are going to make a revolve. And merge result. Yes, we do have it. And other one here. We can just now give some color. For example, gold. And other colors on the surfaces. Yes. 
yes it was looking very nice it was a very good in fact uh, surfacing example i hope you to find it good and useful if you have some struggles to understand some steps here then you must watch some simple videos for surfacing on my channel please do visit my channel if you like me, me, my video please do make a comment and hit the like button that's important for me see you in another video